we're here with Oh, oh Greg Schultz. And you're a firefighter. Yes. And at the uh, Keelan Junction Station. And uh, you got the call in the early hours of March. Yeah, when firefighters from uh, Swansea, Runnymede, and uh, Junction came down here to uh, uh, Burning Castle in the park. They were able to uh, isolate the fire and save the bulk of the structure, but we did lose the castle. And uh, the next day we were uh, recognizing that this is a key piece of Toronto. Uh, it's no different than Skydome or CN Tower. we got to get it back, and it's part of the Toronto uh, mindset and uh, skyline. So we've started working on our plans. We found other people working on plans, and we just offered up our assistance as, as uh, infrastructure support and uh, anything else we could do. And uh, we've just uh, been making it happen ever since. Um, in your career, you see a lot of fires. You do see community things go down. Yes. What's the difference here? Um, well, it was a castle. We don't get very many castle fires anymore. And this is a key piece of... Uh, of uh, Every kid in southern Ontario has probably been to this park at some point. Um, it, it's just a key piece of uh, Toronto. It's a key piece of High Park. It's, uh, uh, it's critical for summer that we got to get this back up and running. And uh, whatever we can do to, in a small way to help out here is uh, what we're going to do. Um, sometimes there's plans and they never come back and we lose a building, we lose a structure and the city loses something. There's a lot of people here today. Uh, how does that make you feel? Uh, th these are the people that um, that make Toronto what it is. Um, we're just helping them do what they can do. So, if, if we can do anything, uh, a little bit, uh, we're we're happy with that. Well, I uh, will just speak on behalf of the citizens and the little ones across Toronto, and simply say thank you. Well, thank you very much.
Um, this is meant to be mulch. Yeah, and it's, and it's a piece of plastic. Yes. All right, so here's the thing that I said to you. I don't know if it's kind of but I'll say to you, um, it's a I'll to cover it. So just you let me know. No, I'll talk to Bob, but just Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think yeah. there's going to be a lot of those sorts of things. Yes. So you'll kind of navigate your water around and you know you can call and say, hey, so there's, gonna really there's a difference you. between wood chips and mulch. Oh, well, yeah, and seven times the cost. Well, yeah. besides <laughs> the point, <laughs> you know what, this will be it is nice. It's great. It's wonderful. I mean, if necessary, we can make some up and move and just leave a, sh a small amount, but we yeah, won't worry totally. about it. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know. Today is about yeah. all the bombs. Yeah, I know, exactly. So this was great. So well done. Um, yeah, I'd like to introduce oh. to my son. He's Nigel. Nigel. Hey, Nigel. Nice Neil, Neil Haggard. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks. Nice to meet you.
Doing a great job, guys. Thanks. Oh, no. Good thing. Thanks so much. Thanks. Uh, I said, I don't know her that well, but she would think I Did you want her to get Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Uh, who are you? My name's Kaleem Kadir. All right. right. Why are you here? Why am I here? Because I live about two blocks away. I was going on my morning walk and I saw all these yellow t-shirts and it kind of led me down here. So then I traded my black t-shirt for a yellow one and a shovel. And next thing you know, I helped. And that's the lady who passed me the shovel. Right over there. <laughs> Have a great day. So we figured community participation. If you don't participate, you're not a part of the community. And then we met a good gentleman here, Robert. And we were on the same wavelengths. We saw some political motivations over here, not just community motivations. So, what do you mean? Well, they made us move a pile of wood chips that could have been easily placed by a dump truck where they wanted it moved. Yeah. Right? But then all the politicians get to use a shovel, and the whole community gets to come in and move a pile of wood chips. Right. So, in for, fact, yeah. For a photo op. Yeah. In fact, right? they, yeah, they were covering themselves by allowing, as uh, Kyle just said, uh, the photo op. And they could have just easily dumped that there, but they want to show everyone on the media that, oh, the community had a hand in it, when in fact, the Holmes Foundation and Mike Holmes and everyone just hijacked this whole thing. Well, is that fair? Because without them, without... No, the community could... Uh, in, if, you, if you did the research on it, my friend, you would know that there was a group before the Holmes group, and I'm a big fan of Mike Holmes. I like Mike Holmes. I'm not hating on him. I, I, I'm admi admiring him and a fan. But there was a group before him that came in and uh, offered to help. And they got they got canned. They well, basically got shunned. There was a little bit of difficulty uh, with the city bureaucracy with that previous proposal. Right. And it was the Ontario Landscaping Association, and they had certain deadlines. Right. So, um, it, it's not exactly uh, the complete picture, though. If I was in your shoes and I didn't know that, I would probably feel the same way. Uh, I've done, the way I see it, I've done a fair bit of research on this. I've offered my services uh, on a volunteer basis. Keep in mind, uh, HGTV is making money on this. Mike Holmes is being paid due to contract. So uh, while his heart is in the right place, he's getting paid. We're here well, on a volunteer well, it's, basis. It's like we agreed though on one thing we yeah. talked about earlier, how you need a contractor to get things right, done. Right. So we had a top contractor and things got done. 
So regardless, at the, the end thing the, is for the done. kids, for the yeah, little ones. For the little ones at the end. So like you have to sometimes bygones have to be bygones. Yeah. And leave your bags at the door, kind of thing, for the best of everybody. So for the better. We yeah, we've we've come to a mutual agreement that we, at the end of the day, if a positive, greater good yeah, can come out of it, it it's that, fun. You know what? And then Mike Holmes and his expertise and these licensed carpenters, they're gonna do a great job. So be it. Let's just do it and get it done. It's like the schools and the scoreboards with the Coca-Cola sign on them. You need the new scoreboard. The city can't afford them. If you want them, there's nothing wrong with having the corporations inside involved because no matter what, the corporations making money off the cities, right? So let them give back. As much as you can take back to the corporations, take it. Like if, if you, okay, let's take for example Grace. If this is at the school, everybody's going to be like, okay, Grace is advertising at school, but who cares? Like honestly, who cares? If they give money into the community, let them. Right? Like one way or another, if people recognize, okay, Grace not as much as Coca-Cola, but all, every kid recognizes Coca-Cola and McDonald's. Right, so now we get money from them to put back the community. It's a win-win situation. So today, this afternoon, it's not the end of the day. It's the middle of the day. Yeah. Uh, it's a win situation for the community. You feeling better? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We just wish, in a way, in a sense, you got a yeah. burger. Yeah, we I got had a, a couple burger. burgers. You know, uh, we wish po possibly we could uh, be more involved, but we realize that you know it is a dangerous construction site and uh, there's legal ramifications. They don't want people getting hurt, so we understand that side of it too. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, and I'm glad you're here today and you joined in the community build. And happy Jamie Bell Playground Adventure Community Build Day. Nice. Oh, Thank you, my friend.
outside, but it needs to be safe and beautiful on the inside. So I'm not going to sacrifice or cut corners to get to a deadline of today so kids complain it. I will take another week and I'll perfect this that there is not, not going to be one worry for any kid or adult. So they come play next Saturday. What's the big deal? There isn't any. So can you nail down that an opening date at this point? Absolutely, <laughs> yes. I promise the kids can play Saturday morning next week. Mike, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, Chris. Sure. 